Yo guys, it's Animal Series Super Z. Today I'm going to be making my 2024 uh, NFL Draft predictions. So, um, <clears throat> basically, uh, got the draft board right here, and uh, I'll be making my picks. So, yeah. And I'm only doing the first round, so, uh, yeah, okay. So, here we go. So, the first overall pick will go to the Chicago Bears, and uh, it's a really bold pick for me, but I just don't believe that they're going to select Caleb Williams, because... They already have Justin Fields, unless they want to trade him this off season. Um, then I don't, I don't think there's no possibilities that they're gonna pick Caleb Williams. So I think the Chicago Bears are gonna select Marvin Harrison Jr., a wide receiver out of Ohio State. I feel like uh, Justin Fields has a lot of, uh, he has one more weapon uh, on his team. So. Um, and plus, he's also got DJ Moore, and adding Marvin Harrison uh, Jr. on that, that'd be kind of crazy. Please don't make that happen. Actually, this is like Caleb Williams. Please. <laughs> As you can tell by my room. Also, scare sorry for scaring you guys in my last video. Uh, no, I'm not quitting. Anytime soon. Okay, but anyways... Um, the second pick goes to the Washington Commanders. Um, I just, uh, don't believe Sam Howell will make the cut. Uh, he did have the most, uh, passing yards, um, uh, what, and at one point in the season, but I just don't think, uh, he's fit enough for the starting position. So I think Caleb Williams will go to the Washington Commanders. He's from USC. Um, I feel like, um... If Caleb Williams and uh, Terry McLaurin, uh, I think that'd be a pretty good duo. Um, also adding Jahan Dotson to that. Okay, the third pick goes to the New England Patriots. Don't even know the last time they had the third pick, or any pick lower than that. Um, but ever since they lost Tom Brady, um, they've just been downhill from there. Um, so they're going to get the new Tom Brady, maybe, uh, and they're going to pick Drake May out of North Carolina. Um, I just feel like it's the best, um, thing to draft, you know, getting a new quarterback, uh, hopefully he doesn't end up like Mac Jones did, because, um, that'd just be kind of disappointing, you know. All right, next pick is... For the Arizona Cardinals. Um, I believe Kyler Murray is going to stay uh, on the team. So, um, Also has a lot of potential. Uh, it's still kind of young in his career. He was only drafted in 2019. Um, he could easily have a rebound season. Um, and I could definitely see it. Um, I'm not going to expect anything crazy from the Cardinals uh, next season. But... Uh, I think Kyler Murray needs some more protection because clearly he's getting uh, injured a lot. So for the Arizona Cardinals, Joe Alt will be drafted. He's a, a o lineman out of Notre Dame. All right. The fifth pick will go to the Los Angeles Chargers. And the Chargers had a downfall season uh, considering they had the fire. Um, Oh, uh, what was his name again? Um, I think his name was like Brandon Staley or whatever. Um, considering he had uh, three seasons in a row where his uh, last game ended up just terrible. Um, 2021, uh, the Raiders and Chargers uh, game in week 18. Uh, they could have tied it. They could have both gone to the playoffs, but no, Brandon Staley had to call a timeout. Um 2022 season uh, blew the 27 to nothing lead uh, against the Jaguars in the playoffs and then got beat uh, and they put up 63 points on the Raiders. So Justin Herbert got injured and clearly um, he gets hit a lot. So uh, maybe we can prevent that by uh, the Chargers drafting Aluminwaya Fashionu. 
Hopefully I said his name right. He's from Penn State. All right, the next pick goes to the New York Giants. They also had a downfall season considering they didn't have, um, what was his name, uh, Daniel Jones. And uh, Tommy DeVito had to come in, obviously. He actually didn't do too bad, but I think Daniel Jones will stay as the, um, the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. Um, they don't have a lot of... Uh, Daniel Jones doesn't have a lot of receivers, so we could add to that. And the and the New York Giants will are, are going to select Malik Neighbors out of LSU. Uh, he's a wide receiver. All right, the next pick goes to the Tennessee Titans, and um, they might lose Derrick Henry in the uh, in the off season, so um, they might want to select a running back. Uh, like like Corum, but uh, I don't think uh, that's gonna happen. So uh, they go into a different direction, um, and I think that the Titans are gonna try to uh, improve that defense because um, the defense this season. Uh, they weren't horrible, but they weren't the best. So, adding Terry and Arnold out of Alabama, a cornerback, could uh, really uh, help them, you know? All right. Next pick is for the Atlanta Falcons. And um, I'm just going to say this right now. Desmond Ritter is – he's has a lot of potential, but I just don't think – He's really going to do anything, considering um, this this team looked like they had potential, but then uh, he got injured, and then just things went down downhill from there. He wasn't good for the rest of the season. And uh, maybe it's because of Arthur Smith, but I don't think so. I say the Falcons are going to – the Falcons? The Falcons are going to pull uh, Jaden Daniels here out of LSU, uh, quarterback. So, yeah. I think. Okay, the next pick goes to the... The next pick goes to the uh, Chicago Bears once again. Um, once again, I don't believe they're going to pick a quarterback. Uh and uh, I think they're going to uh, maybe improve the defense because um, I noticed in a lot of games they allowed a lot of points. So if they had Dallas Turner from Alabama, they could improve the defense. So Dallas Turner out of Alabama, an edge, uh, is going to be joining the Chicago Bears, according to me. Okay, next pick. Uh, goes to the New York Jets, and obviously we all know that uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, played 90 seconds of the season, and may, may, might not want to um, might not want to keep him in. I don't know, but um, I'm gonna say Romo Duns from Washington, a wide receiver, is gonna come and play. Come and play with Aaron Rodgers if they manage to keep him. All right, so Romo Duns is going to the New York Jets. The next pick goes to the Minnesota Vikings, and they also had a downfall season considering they lost their starting quarterback in Kirk Cousins. And uh, apparently my brother did some fast calculations since he is a Vikings fan that he was on pace to get 5,000 uh, – 4,900 yards this season if he did not get injured. And of course, the Packers had to injure him, which I'm actually kind of happy about. Um, I don't think they're going to pick a quarterback here. They could pick J.J. McCarthy, but um, they don't have a lot of edge rushers, so Layatu Latu from UCLA is going to be jo- oh my God. It's going to be joining the Minnesota Vikings. Next pick goes to the Denver Broncos, and um, 
this season, their O-line just couldn't get to the quarterback. So, Jerzon Newton from Illinois, he's a defensive tackle, will be joining the squad. Welcome to Broncos country, Jerzon Newton. Okay, the next pick goes to the Las Vegas Raiders. And obviously, they didn't have any great quarterbacks this season. Um, I don't think uh, that's going to change unless they pick one special person that just won the national championship, J.J. McCarthy out of Michigan. And yes. Well, that's maybe because... Or maybe. Just because the way he was Brock Bowers! He's a good player though. Somebody please want Brock Bowers! Ah! Okay. But anyways, JJ McCarthy goes to the Raiders. Next pick goes to the New Orleans Saints. And uh Derek Carr, he gets sacked a lot. So JC Latham out of Alabama is gonna be joining the Saints. Uh, I'll just edit it out. I think the Colts are going to select Jared Verse here out of Florida State. Good job. All right. Next pick is the Seattle Seahawks pick. And let's see what they will pick. I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to add to the secondary with Tariq Wool and Jamal Adams and all those guys with Quinion Mitchell, uh, quarterback, quarterback out of Toledo. Yeah. All right, the next pick goes to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And um, I believe that uh, Calvin Ridley and Christian Kirk could have another wide receiver. And Keon Coleman out of Florida State. Yes. All right. Cincinnati Bengals are now on the clock. And I think that somebody finally is going to pick up the tight end out of Georgia in Brock Bowers. And uh, joining the Bengals offense. Ooh, that, that offense is going to be unstoppable. All right. Well, Brock Bowers goes to the Cincinnati Bengals. All right, Los Angeles Rams are now on the clock. This should be a no-brainer. Uh, they need to add to the offensive line in uh, getting the offensive tackle out of Oregon State to lease Fulwaga. <laughs> that kind of sounds like Rob, but uh, to lease Fulwaga is now on the Rams. All right, the. Pittsburgh Steelers are now on the clock, and this should be a no-brainer. Um, they need offensive linemen in uh, the center out of Oregon. Jackson Powers Johnson will be joining the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, the Miami Dolphins are now on the clock. And let's see who they will pick here. I actually don't know. Um, hmm. I think the Miami Dolphins are going to select Byron Murphy the second, uh, defensive tackle out of Texas. All right, the next pick goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Eagles here uh, need a center since Jason Kelsey retired. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think they could add to the secondary. Darius Slay needs another corner. And Nate Wiggins out of Clemson will be the perfect fit. All right. Next pick goes to the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans 
Um, let's see here. I think the Houston Texans are going to select Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver out of LSU. All right. Okay. So, the Dallas Cowboys are now on the clock. Uh, let's see who they will pick here. I think... The Dallas Cowboys are going to pick a Marius Mims, an uh, offensive tackle out of Georgia. And now, my, my, my Green Bay Packers are now on the clock. And I believe that the Packers are going to pick Cooper DeGene, a safety out of Iowa. But I'm going to be really happy if they make that pick. Um... Yeah. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are now on the clock, and this should be no questions asked. They are going to pick Chop Robinson out of Penn State and Edge Rusher. All right. The Arizona Cardinals back on the clock. They picked, I think it was Joe Alt earlier. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, so they don't need an offensive tackle. So I think the Arizona Cardinals are going to pick up Kool-Aid McKinstry. Cornerback out of Alabama. Out of Alabama. All right. There's only 31 picks in the draft this year. All right, Buffalo Bills are now on the clock. And I believe that the Buffalo Bills are going to select. Ooh, okay. I think the Buffalo Bills are going to select Cameron Kenshin's safety out of Miami. Yeah, okay. Next pick goes to the Detroit Lions. And I think the Lions are going to pick. Hmm. I think the Lions are going to pick Graham Barton, uh, a guard out of Duke. Yeah. Okay. Next pick goes to the Baltimore Ravens. Okay. I think the Ravens are going to pick a Dante Mitchell wide receiver out of Texas. Yeah. And supposedly the last pick uh, in the first round goes to the San Francisco 49ers. And they're going to end it off with Tyler Guyton, an offensive tackle out of Florida. Oh, no, no, no. We still have the Chiefs. Um, let's see who the Chiefs will pick. Hmm. I think they're going to pick Troy Fatanu, offensive tackle out of Washington. So that is my pick. Um, I'll have the list uh, in the description. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not quitting YouTube. Um, have a good rest of your day. See you all later.